is the second of these meetings that we've had. And the point of it is, is to keep you, the members that are the most interested, and we hope our biggest supporters, abreast of what the changes that are happening here at Oasis this summer. And how many of you were able to be with us um, six weeks ago when we met? So about a third of you know um, about the changes, and maybe some of the rest of you have read in our um, publication, the Oasis catalog, or heard from others or talk with other volunteers or staff here. But we learned um, several months ago that our longtime um, administrative sponsor, Legacy Health, would not be able to fund us after the end of September going forward. So um, because of that, we're, we're making some adjustments so that we can be sustainable into the future. And we're very um, purposeful with a lot of things that we're doing right now and we're looking forward to a bright future and I want to start by saying that we are not planning to close Oasis it is nothing like that so please Let's don't put to bed and we'll be being sent out um, within a couple weeks and it's full of classes that go through the end of the year so rest assured all is well that way there'll be many things for you to do with us and get involved in a variety of ways, just like you always have here, by taking classes. And in fact, one of the big things you can do to help us this fall is to participate, to sign up for lots and lots of classes, because that's one of the things we're trying to do, is increase our participation. So do watch for that catalog. Before I say too much more, I want to make sure that everybody knows who the other OASIS staff are. There's Jane Griffin in the back row, and she's the uh, program assist uh, coordinator who does all the scheduling of the classes and works with volunteers some of them are you so you know um, to get the catalog out and then standing over here um, to my left your right is Vivian Foster and she is the Oasis tutoring strategist and she works primarily with the Oasis to intergenerational tutoring program are there any tutors here great welcome thank you for being here um, and then this is Delina Young, and she is our OASIS program specialist. And she's out front, and if you come into the office, you probably see. But um, we have had four live warm bodies, and it won't be that going forward, because we just won't have the funding for that. So um, it'll be something like two people, or maybe a little more, maybe not a little more. Just the, it's being worked on with our National Oasis um, staff on what the best model is. Their goal for all Oasis centers, and we are one of um, 26 cities with an Oasis center, so we're not alone in this. In fact, most of the other Oasis centers operate very much like we will be operating going forward. Most of them did not have like a legacy health paying most of their bills. We were just lucky you know, that it had gone on for so long. Most of them um, derive their income uh, to make the center run and to have staffing through revenues from their classes. You know, we do charge, you're aware of that if you take classes down here, of course. We don't charge a lot, but you know, they do charge. And then donations from members, grants, and small sponsorships. The target date for having somebody hired is in August sometimes, so that's not too far off. They're uh, what's happening is the position is advertised on some nonprofit websites and mainly on the WVDO website, which is the Willamette Valley Development Officers website. And if you go to that website, you can apply for the job if you want it. And, you, or you, you can redirect people to it. Yeah. Have you applied for the job? Uh, I, I mentioned last time that I'm going to go. I'm not going to apply for the job. The rest of the staff has met um, on conference call with the national staff and they've given input to what they would like to see with the new director, what sorts of personal qualities they'd like the person to have, um, what sorts of skills they think are really important for the future for this program and those kinds of things. And the Oasis staff has dealt with this same issue in many of the other Oasis cities. Most of them all started as we did with a big health sponsor and there's only like maybe two left after we lose this sponsorship that um, still have the health sponsor. I mean, that's partly because of the way the economy and the environment and healthcare has changed so radically. Um, and then we're going to add um, the second and fourth, well, we've been open now for a while on the second Saturday, but we're going to add the fourth Saturday of most months. So. Um, 
it just happens November and December are holiday months, so that won't apply. But September and October, we're going to be open the um, second and fourth Saturday. And then another little cost saving measure is um, we've another benefit we've had from Legacy is the mail. They've um, paid for not mailing catalogs. That's we've had to pay for that, but they have um, paid for all our other mail. So we're not going to be able to um, mail confirmations anymore unless people give us um, Some questions about all these great things they're going to do. And they'll have been here a couple weeks and they can probably answer that, right? <laughs> I'm just going to have a seat in the front row and listen in because I may come to something in the future. You never know. So thank you one and all. And um, just talk to us. Thanks. Bye.